it just has solidified my my call for justice, but not just for our family, for any family in our same situation. Like it's 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 not just us. We're just the, one of the more recent. Tonight, the mother of Donovan Lewis speaking in front of Columbus City Council, urging the members to take action. And that comes after the Columbus Division of Police announced on Friday that Ricky Anderson, the officer who fatally shot Lewis, retired in bad standing. And that means he won't be able to keep his gun and badge, but will still receive his pension. Anderson shot and killed Lewis inside the 20 year olds West Columbus apartment last August. NBC 4's Caleb Michael has has more on the message Lewis's mother shared during tonight's council meeting. Rebecca Duran Donovan Lewis's mother says she was outraged when she learned on Friday that Ricky Anderson retired in bad standing. She came to city council tonight urging the city to take action. We're going to keep on coming and showing up until we can get something actually done, not just promises. On August 30th, 2022, Ricky Anderson and other Columbus police officers entered Donovan Lewis's apartment. Within one second of opening Lewis's bedroom door, Anderson shot Lewis. An autopsy report determined Lewis died within minutes of being shot through the abdomen. Now, almost six months later, Lewis's family, they're still waiting for answers. Again, we're working into six months. That's, that's entirely too long as the family or any other family in our same situation. As it stands right now, there have been no criminal charges filed against Anderson. Bottom line is, I don't have justice for my son. Many Tonight at City Council, Duran expressed her frustration with the lack of information she's received from the city of Columbus since her son's death. But it's not for a lack of trying on her part. I would say well over, and then this is just a low ball number, over 100 phone calls. City Council President Shannon Harding gave his condolences, but says there has to be space for decisions to be made. Um, we have to be careful because I know there is ongoing litigation right now, and that's so uh, terrible and not fulfilling. Um, to you as a mother. In December, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation sent the case to the Franklin County Prosecutor Gary Tyak. Special prosecutors were assigned to the case to present it to a grand jury, but that has yet to happen. So at this time, it's in the hands of the Franklin County Prosecutor's Office through their special prosecutors and the Franklin County Grand Jury. Duran says it's the same no matter where she looks. Everyone points the finger at the next person. It's pa continual passing of the buck. And so that's one of the things that I that we would like to see a major change, a policy change. Is now she's calling for a more timely approach to answers and clarity for families in these types of situations. There is no response. There is no real action. It's, it's just filler. Duran tells me she is undeterred and will not stop until there is justice for her son. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Caleb Michael, NBC4.